The first tab in the list is MI Control Center and it essentially redefines your notification tray to not just look better but also look more organized. So all your control toggles and settings on your phone are presented right in front of you and you can customize this entire list. The app allows you to see notifications in one area and control settings in another. You can customize everything to your liking, right from the grid sizes to the layout to the colors and the free version. It obviously allows only limited customizations, but it should be enough to deliver the core need without the need for extra stuff. So if you're really bored with your current notification tray and the way your settings are displayed and you know just the overall functionality of it, try MI Control Center, play with it and see if it works better for you. All right, coming to the second app. LED notifications have been missing on pretty much all phones these days and most phones either don't have always on display or they don't show information when you get a notification from an app. If you're not a very private person, you may want this feature and that's where AOD Notify comes into action. And the app does allow for a lot of customization so you can decide if a notification comes in, what should be the placement of it, the size, the color, should it take the color from the app and you can also decide which apps it should show these notifications for and it shouldn't, definitely give this a try. And guys, before we move on, it'll mean so much to me if you could just subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon. It helps me sustain the channel and grow it even more. And now let's move on. Coming to the next one, it's called Zone Launcher. It's an invisible edge tool and it allows you to quickly launch your favorite apps or even your favorite shortcuts with just one swipe, no matter where you are. It allows you to create zones and quickly jump into them. Think of these zones as folders. So you can name them as work, social, banking, utility, whatever. And then you can have a set of apps in those zones. So let's say I just created one called messaging and then I can just select and place apps that I want under messaging. As I said, it's called zone launcher. The free version only allows you to configure two zones. And if you find it useful, you can unlock the full version by paying a premium. The next app is O Launcher. It's a home screen replacement app. Of course, it's a, it's a launcher and it's really simple, very minimal, very functional. You've got your top eight apps up front. They're all text, so they're really easy to identify and it's not like icons that you can keep changing. Now, other apps can be simply accessed by swiping up, which I think is pretty standard, so no issues there. You can search also and search is really cool. If there's an app that corresponds to your search, it automatically opens up. It's really easy. I mean, you have to use it to know what I mean. Now, there aren't too many settings involved here, which is what makes it so simple. I mean, you can pretty much have a new wallpaper every day. You can select how many apps you wish to see up front, whether you want it on the left or on the right. That's pretty much it. You can also set up what apps should open when you swipe left or right on your screen, which I've set up as phone and camera because those are the most used apps for me. And you can have your eight additional apps. And swiping from the top, opens up the notification panel. So that's again, pretty much expected. Definitely give this launcher a try, it's absolutely free. This next app is probably my favorite wallpaper app of 2020 and it offers wallpapers that really matches with my personal tastes and preferences. They're minimal, bright and colors that really speak to the customization freak in me. It's got a very wide variety and just really high quality and super unique wallpapers. Especially love the gradient based wallpapers. It's not that they're better than other wallpaper apps. It's just that they're different and hence they add more to the variety. Now you can download the wallpapers and keep it in local storage and of course apply it directly from within the app. There are a bunch of categories that you can browse through. So depending on what kind of wallpapers you're looking for, just pick the category that suits you best. Friendspire, it's like Spotify for TV shows and movies. Essentially, it's a recommendation engine that suggests TV shows and movies across various streaming platforms, depending on what your friends have liked or disliked or what's trending around the globe. The app allows you to make selections and add filters depending on what you're in the mood for and look at a curated list of TV shows and movies. Now, the good part is that I do get the rating right alongside the movie name or the TV show and that gives me a pretty good idea of whether I want to watch it or not. The rating may also include the rating on popular platforms like IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, which I think is really good. The next app is called Super Status Bar and it allows you to create shortcuts on the top status bar. So just by interacting with it, you can do various things. For example, just sliding your finger can increase or decrease brightness or you can make it display the battery levels of your phone. I mean, there are just a lot of things that you can configure right on the status bar. And there are so many options, so many gestures possible. For example, double tapping it can lock your screen. 
I mean, it may not be useful, but you can find more useful things. And here's a list of everything that you can enable or change by just interacting with the top status bar. I think it's really great and it could be really helpful. And while a lot of features are free, there are some customizations or tweaks that you would have to pay for and get the premium version that does unlock quite a few things in the app. A lot of us are working from home and trying to stay productive. So respecting time and keeping track is important. Now that's where this visual timer comes into play. It's obviously great looking and lets you create preset timers that you can just tap and start. Now adding a timer is simple. You give it a name, a color and decide on the duration. You can also create shortcuts of your preset timers and place them on the home screen by long pressing the app in your app drawer. And now you can just tap on that and your timer instantly starts. And that's it guys, those were some apps that really stuck with me through the year 2020 and I thought I'll share them with you as well. Now they may not be the best apps in an absolute sense or specifically for you, but the idea is to share them with you and see what you find useful. Anyway, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.